Ever wondered why understanding the concept of training and test loss is crucial in machine learning? Well, it's like the heartbeat of any machine learning model. It's the pulse that tells us about its health and performance. You see, when we train a model, it's like teaching a child to walk. The training loss is the stumbling and falling, the mistakes made along the way. It's the model's way of telling us how much it's struggling to learn from the data it's given. A high training loss means our model is having a hard time. It's not learning well. On the other hand, the test loss is the model's final exam. It's how we measure how well the model can apply what it's learned to unseen data. A high test loss means our model is not ready to face the real world yet. It's not generalizing well. So understanding training and test loss is not just an option, it is a necessity. Dive into the world of machine learning and you'll quickly encounter the term training loss. Now what exactly is this? Let's unravel it step by step. In the realm of machine learning, we're always training models. We feed them data, they learn patterns, and they make predictions. But how do we know if a model is learning correctly? That's where training loss comes in. Training loss is essentially a measure of how well the model is performing on the training data. It's the difference between the model's predictions and the actual values in the training data set. In other words, it's the error of our machine learning model over the training data. Think of it as a school test. The lower your mistakes, the higher your score. Similarly, a lower training loss signifies that our model is fitting the data better. It's making fewer mistakes in its predictions. But here's the catch. A low training loss doesn't always mean a perfect model. If the training loss is too low, the model might be too specific to the training data and fail to generalize well to unseen data. This phenomenon is known as overfitting. So, while we aim for a lower training loss, we also need to ensure that our model doesn't become a know-it-all for the training data alone. Remember, a lower training loss generally means our model is learning well, but keep an eye out for overfitting. Balance is key. Now that we've understood training loss, let's turn our attention to its counterpart, test loss. Imagine it as the examination phase after a diligent period of study. You've learned, revised, and practiced. Now it's time to see how well you can apply that knowledge to new, unseen questions. That's precisely what test loss is about in the machine learning landscape. Test loss measures the error of a machine learning model over unseen or test data. It's a sort of reality check. It tells us how well our model, trained with a specific set of data, can generalize its learning when faced with new data. Just like in an exam, where scoring high is an indicator of good preparation and understanding, in machine learning, a lower test loss indicates the model's better generalization capabilities. It shows that our model isn't just memorizing the training data, but learning from it to apply this knowledge to unseen data. However, it's essential to remember that a model with zero test loss isn't necessarily the ultimate goal. Why, you may wonder? Because achieving a zero test loss might mean our model is too perfect, too attuned to the training data. It could have fallen into the trap of overfitting, where it performs exceptionally well on the training data, but poorly on unseen data. So, a lower test loss is what we strive for, as it indicates a model that can generalize well to unseen data. With a firm grasp on training and test loss, here are the key points to remember. Training loss is the measure of how well your model is learning from the training data. It reflects the model's ability to predict outcomes based on the data it was trained on. On the other hand, test loss is the measure of how well your model generalizes to unseen data, providing a snapshot of its performance on real-world data. The dance between these two is a delicate one. If your training loss is low but your test loss is high, your model may be overfitting meaning it's too complex and has learned the training data too well, failing to generalize. Conversely, if both losses are high, you may be underfitting, indicating the model is too simple and unable to capture the complexity of the data. Remember, the goal is to minimize both losses, striking a balance that allows the model to learn effectively and generalize well. Keep these points in mind, and you'll be well on your way to creating more accurate and reliable machine learning models.